I was watching a baseball game on TV. The picture on the screen most frequently was of the batter, the catcher, and the umpire. Behind these three was the inside wall of the stadium, in front of the first row of seats, and that wall had been electrified so the advertising on it could change after so many seconds and maximize both the number of ads and the exposure time during all the pitches. And I was struck that the pitches of the game were both the thrown balls and the constant parade of ad pitches on the wall. They were about equal in number. So many pitches. I was thinking about this when a new ad came up. In thick, bright yellow letters it read, Flooring season is here. With the exclamation point. It took a moment for that to sink in. Flooring season? Really? Like, summer is here, time to get a new floor. Quite a sales concept. Hey honey, did we get a new floor last season? I felt a bit left out right in the middle of flooring season and stupid me, I wasn't going to get a new floor. Besieged by all manner of pitches from every direction, I often wind up thinking about things like that. They're right there in front of me, rather unavoidable, these clever advertisers sinking their hooks into me, trying to get me to think about flooring season instead of concentrating on the leading issues of the day. The problem there is that I don't give a crap about most of the leading issues of the day. They interest me a lot less than, say, a baseball game or flooring season. For instance, gay marriage. Hell, I don't care, but everyone seems to be talking about gay marriage, incessantly. It's everywhere, except on the wall behind home plate at the baseball stadium, and they're probably missing out by not posting a message there, something about gay marriage season maybe, or gay marriage would be a big hit, with the exclamation point. The United States are divided on the issue. Some of them have legalized gay marriage, other, others not. In the states where it isn't legal yet, Lawsuits have been filed, and these, th those lawsuits have raised up through the order of the courts, and now several of them are about to go before the final and deciding jurisdiction, the Supreme Court. And there is much strategic discussion related to which state's case the High Court should choose to review first. The one they pick because of its particular factors could go a long way into forming their decision. My problem with all of this, as I said, is that I don't care. If gay people want to get married, I say go right ahead. Why they would want to do this is a mystery to me. Getting married is hugely expensive. And most all of them will wind up getting a divorce, emotionally wrenching with more money down the drain. Marriage is a frightening, unnatural institution, bringing together two completely different creatures for the purposes of of giving birth to legal offspring, and then they stay together to raise the kids so they're together for a long time. In fact, the poor schnooks had to promise to stay together forever. And this is called the ball and chain, like those movies where two prisoners escape from a terrible labor camp, and they run through forests and swamps chained together. That's marriage, and you've got gay people fighting for the right to do that. Go figure. This is, in general, in this country, America, a good time to be gay. It used to be a stigma, now it's a badge of pride. Gay people are cool. Many people feel bad or left out because they're not gay. A football player not long ago came out as gay, and he timed his announcement to coincide with the NFL draft, thinking that being gay might be an advantage, that more teams would want him if he was not just a linebacker, but a gay linebacker. Timing in this, as in everything, is critical, and it turns out he might have been right. This does look like a good time for gay people to get into football. The league is concerned about concussions, and there are lots of new rules for protecting the quarterback and the kinds of hits and physical contact that can be made. The NFL, it's easy to see, is heading in a basic gay direction. Along with the new rules, the players are looking much more flamboyant lately, especially with their hair. So it's a good time for athletes to come out and say, I'm gay and I'm ready to play. 
I can see in the future, as more rules are added, that we might eventually see a transsexual NFL. With no set teams, no score would be kept, everyone running about in beautiful designer outfits. Maybe by then, I'll be ready for summer and a new floor.